Uh, let's not talk to her. Not going to chat with her. You're not going to make friends with them. You're going to burn their house down. So come over here, magic, inferniate, and then you're going to run back over here. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we are continuing Realm of Magic. Miss Zara is getting her magic on. <laughs> she has been practicing. She has learned some new spells. She's not learned any new potions, I don't believe, because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to read the books to get the potions, and you're supposed to practice magic to get the spells. And I think that that's how it works. I'm pretty sure, uh, because throughout practicing, she just keeps learning spells, and I don't think she's ever learned a potion. And I think, maybe, I don't know, maybe with the books you can learn spells too, but uh, I've not learned any potions through the practicing, so I don't think that that's a thing. She is about to level up, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, she still has this curse. I don't know why, um, but she does. So uh, let's see. I checked the mail and she had this familiar orb of the butterfly. Um, I'm pretty sure like last episode they said something about sending us something in the mail because we're like an amazing witch and everything. So they're just going to give us some stuff. And that was actually in the mailbox. So I'm pretty sure that that's who that was from. So, thanks. <laughs> uh, but we're actually going to... What's going, what's going on with her needs? She's... Whoa, she's good. Uh, it's actually really cold. What the heck? Chance of snow freezing. Oh, it's freezing out here. Maybe you shouldn't be practicing magic outside. Maybe that's a bad idea. Uh, let's see. It does not look like winter. It does not look... Well, I mean, it's not winter, but it's freezing. It does not look very frozen to me. So... I don't actually think that it's really, I'm just looking around this area. I don't know why. I just, I've never looked at this little path here before. So I just, <laughs> I just want to look at it real quick. Um, let's go back over here and see what she's up to. She's currently, mm, it won't go to her. That's so annoying. All right. She's apparently going to go play on the computer. Actually, I'm going to stop her from doing that because I want her to work on her magic as well. I don't want her sister to be more powerful than her. Her sister is an evil witch and... She has to be equivalent to her because she needs to... So I actually learned that... Oh, she's cold. Okay. I actually learned, and it's so stupid of me, but whenever I looked in the spell book, it actually says under the... Oh, I think she learned a potion. Under the practical magic, it says practical. And then you got Reperio, Scrubberoo, Delicioso, Delicioso, whatever, Floral... For floor floral I can't say that floral oriole what the heck floral oriole floral oral you know, <laughs> I can't say that transportalate copy pasto uh, herbio or herbio however you pronounce it home mordial I don't know what some of this stuff is I'm interested in this rite of ascension because that sounds kind of terrifying um but I believe the point in practical magic. I'm really sorry. I'm probably really slow about it. But I guess that means like it's practical magic. Like it's they're practical things. Like they repair stuff. It cleans stuff. It makes food good. It helps your garden. You can transport. Like you know what I mean? Practical like practical stuff? I don't know. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Maybe I just sound silly. Who knows? Um, What the heck is this thing? Collected everything from the mailbox. I... What is this? Oh, it's Harvest Fest Day. Magic? Inferniate? Uh, Inferniate? What the heck does Inferniate mean? Did you learn something that I don't... I've not even looked at any of this. So let's go see what she's learned. Uh, open your spell book, please. Oh. Okay, so... She's learned some new magic. She's learned... Reperio, Scrubberoo, create a tasty meal out of thin air. Okay. Wait, what... We never have to cook again? Is that what you mean? I thought that it was going to be where you could, like, make food that you cook better quality, but what? Uh, keep your plants healthy and bug-free. That'd be cool. Um, we're not really gardeners. We have a little tiny garden in the backyard, but, I mean, that's cool. I guess. Like, your, your garden will never be bad? I don't know. Um, let's see what's here. Mischief magic. Furio. We learned fur Furio. Convince two sims to argue and fight with each other. Convince two sims to get romantic? That doesn't sound very mischievous. That sounds very nice. 
uh, Untamed, Inferniate, Inferniate. Instantly incinerate your target with the power of fire. What? Maybe this is the evil one. Huh. Necrocall? Summon the dead from their final resting place? What the heck? Duplicato? We can... Hold on. I was about to say, we can duplicate ourselves, but like we're a twin. So we're already duplicated, I guess. Um, we still know all these same potions. Not learned anything else, I don't think. Um, yeah, we pretty much, I think we know all the same stuff. So we, I learned that we actually can't, but I don't know what the heck this thing is. Let's view it. I don't know. It's, I guess if it's part of Harvest Fest. But that doesn't look like a gnome. Is that a new gnome? You know how with Harvest Fest, see how the random gnomes will appear throughout the house and you have to like appease them or whatever. For some reason, it's not giving me the option to do that. But why did this random thing just appear like that? That's kind of concerning. Uh, let's make a quick meal. Wait, no, never mind. I was going to say we should just use our magic to make a meal but I, it won't count unless you cook a grand meal i'm assuming so let's make some ham because ham is my favorite get can you please get off your computer why is she so cold it's cold in the house oops my bad i don't think we have a a um thingamajigger <laughs> whatever it's called a thermostat therm thermostat thank you thermostat uh, I don't know where to put it. I guess we'll just put it down here somewhere. Work right there. Perfect. Thank you. Let's make the house warm because it's cold. Let's go down here. Uh, practice magic. Go make the house warm first because apparently it's really cold and you're like going to die or something. So let's do that. And then you can put on... I'm pretty sure she's going to try to go outside. So I'm going to have her change her clothes because I don't want her to freeze to death. Let's put that on because that's pretty warm and it's friggin cute. And then let's go practice some practical magic, please. Thank you. Look at you. Uh, cooking up a storm in here. Making us some ham. Um, level 3 cooking skill. Awesome. What is this? Thankful spirit. Okay, be thankful. I'm thankful for you. Thank you. <laughs> send a thank you card. Let's be thankful. Let's send thank you cards. Who are we thanking? Why would we send our sister who lives in the same house as us a thank you card? I... What? Let's send one to El Faba. I have no idea. It's, if her name is supposed to be a joke, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just slow. I don't, I just don't get it. Elfaba. Elfaba? Elfaba. Hmm. Yeah, I don't get it. Sorry. Oh. Wait, can we can just randomly stand somewhere and do a spell? Delicioso. Inferniate. Grand. <gasps> I was wrong. Abort mission. Go outside and grandly delicioso. Is this actually gonna... Is it gonna count? Go, 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 go. You're so slow. <laughs> oh. Oh, we just leveled up. Wait, is this... This... She just made a grand meal. Some friggin' chicken. Are you kidding me? Inferniate it now. Let's inferniate the chicken. Oh. 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 Oh, wait. Mistake. Mistake. Mistakes were made. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, don't die. Don't die. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Get away from it. Get away from it. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Get away. Go. I was so scared. I thought they were going to die. That was so stupid. Why did I do that? I just wasted a perfectly good chicken. Now we got to go back inside and... Where did our food go? Oh, we left it in the oven. That's... I mean, realistically, we should probably leave it in the oven, like, all day before it's done. But, you know, oh, look at the frosted windows. It's snowing. <laughs> look at this window while it's frosted over from the outside. That's so pretty. Why is that over the window like that? Isn't that weird? I don't know. All right, call to me, all Everybody come eat. And by everybody, I mean sis. <laughs> Her hand just looked like it was glowing. Maybe I was imagining that, but 
Oh, her hand was just glowing. Why is her hand glowing? Did she just do too much magic? Oh, I'm scared. I know what happens when you do too much magic. You die. <laughs> Salem. Why is Salem not eating his food? I'm a little concerned that he actually is not eating his food. So I'm going to move it. Uh, I don't know where to move it, though. Let's move it here. He should be able to get to it here. I mean, he should have been able to get to it over there, but I don't think he... I don't think he's eating. Salem, go eat your food. Go eat your foods. Go eat your foods, Salem. Oh my gosh, my cat's looking at me like, what? You have food for me? <laughs> no. Uh, let's call him to eat because I'm a little bit concerned. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's just laying there. Oh, he's scratching his little ears. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. Oh my gosh, please don't ever die. Can we make our cats immortal? Can we turn off the option for the cats to die? Is that a thing? I really hope it's a thing because I really... It, is this not working? Holiday gnomes. Grand meal. I did that. Oh, right. Okay, it just worked. <laughs> I guess she had to finish eating for it to work, which is weird because it says call to grand meal and that's the point and she did that already, but you know, whatever. All right, let's put this away. There we go. My cat is like kissing my leg now. He's like, food, food? <laughs> no, sorry, I was talking about this cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm scared. She's gonna die. Um, I'm concerned about this whole game crashing thing, so I'm just gonna save really quickly. <laughs> just real fast, it'll be okay. Uh, and also just in case she does die, that way I can just, you know, pretend that never happened. Um, so I actually noticed something whenever i clicked on her and went to magic it says familiars that's plural so i'm wondering if that's you know if i'm just reading too much into the fact that that's plural or if you can have two familiars i'm scared to check because honestly i don't want it to not make salem my familiar so maybe i should get her a second familiar instead what familiar was this? The butterfly. I mean, honestly, that sounds very not evil. <laughs> and she actually, Zara actually has like a couple things up here that she stole, a dragon and a bat. And I feel like those sound a little bit more evil. I mean, if you've seen the bat, it's, it's really cute. It doesn't really look evil, but bats sound like an evil. I mean, they're like vampires, you know, they bite you and they make you bleed and they suck your blood. So like evil, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she can have those. And I'm going to give her this one and I'm going to see what happens if we bind this familiar. Oh, wait, I changed my mind. Hold on. That thing's evil as heck. What did I just do? Uh... <laughs> my bad oh well i mean it's cute though middles that just gave me a great idea it's obviously gonna be cuddles i mean come on hilarious right um so we can have two familiars i guess let's check that really quickly magic familiars summon familiar let's do that and see what happens if we already have this familiar out can we summon a second familiar Oh, you have to go outside to summon your familiar. Okay. Ready, Cuddles. Okay. <gasps> so it just swaps them out. That thing. I did not expect the bunny to be evil. <laughs> I haven't done any research on this. I wanted to be completely surprised with the familiar. So all I've seen is the bat. And that was from Twitter. And I've seen the flaming skull thing. So those are the only ones that I've seen. I have never seen this. I thought that it was going to be cute. I was wrong. But it's freaking cool. I mean, but I feel like I should have. Technically, the realm of magic people sent this to Zara. Which makes sense now. Because obviously, she it was probably sent by L. And she's like evil or whatever. So that makes sense. So... <laughs> I guess we should have let her keep it. But, you know, it's fine. Whatever. Um, let's let her practice some magic out here and get her skill up. Uh, practice some practical magic. And let's see, how close are you to leveling up? Oh, you're, you're decently close. I mean, you're... Wait. To an acolyte. Uh-oh. 
Ooh. She's adept. Oh man, she's behind. Whoopsie daisy. All right, we have to get her get her some major skills going on in here because we need to catch up to our sister because we can't let the evil one win. That's not how this works. The good ones are supposed to prevail. Hey. Appease the gnome. Right, 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 right. What? I think this has something to do with the gnome. I don't understand. This is just a little doll. It looks like one of those little collectible dolls. I don't get it. Why is it appearing here? Is that a glitch? Or I never know what to give them. Like, what are they going to appreciate? Different people appreciate different things. Some people like fruitcake. My mom likes fruitcake. And I don't understand why, but she does. So she would like a fruitcake, probably. Um, some people like salad. Some people don't like salad. I don't know. Not everybody likes pie, so do I just guess? Let's give him some coffee. Everybody appreciates some coffee, right? Some people don't like coffee, I suppose. Maybe he'll like it. Okay. So I can't appease- oh, he liked the coffee. He's like, heck yeah. You know me, girl. <laughs> uh, we can't give him any coffee. Hey, does he have a- Oh, I thought that he had like a wizard hat on because I saw this and I thought it was a moon, but it's just his hair. My bad. Crisis averted. Actually, that's not a crisis. I'm actually really upset about the whole little wizard witch hat thing. Yeah, that really sucks. Very sad about that. Oh, she's tired. Oh my gosh. Does practicing magic make you like exhausted? Dude, she's about to pass out. What? Do we have any good potions that... No, we don't. Oh, by the way, I actually uh, threw this thing in up here. And I... Because I heard you could put potions and stuff in it. So I did that. And I thought that it'd be cooler. Like, you could put more potions in there. So it looks like all stacked up and stuff. But you apparently can't. So we have our potion of nausea. And we have... I think this is the alluring one. Yeah. And this is the emotional stability, and this is the questionable contents. Oh. Well, actually, I want to keep that one in my inventory. That'd probably be helpful to have. What else can we put up here? Uh, we already have the nausea one, good fortune, nimble mind. So we don't have that one up here. And it's to... Oh. Maybe we should... No. I guess it doesn't matter, because magic isn't... Cons considered a skill <gasps> how cute uh, that is so adorable i i'm not sure that i've ever seen that you know what i don't actually play with ple plets what i don't play with pets very often because i'm afraid of they're gonna, <laughs> i'm afraid they're gonna die uh, is he afraid of the computer is that what's going on hmm that's not something that i considered maybe that is um I actually forgot to put these in here. So let's open this up. Uh, in case you don't have the Wicked Whims mod, this is actually pads and tampons. So I'm just going to throw that in there like that. Uh, she can actually unwrap them or whatever whenever she needs them. Uh, but I figured it would be good to have those in there. This is actually a custom content shelf. I thought it was really cute. So uh, what is this? Why Inferniate? She can just set anything on fire. Guys, that is going to be really good for setting people's houses on fire. Can we just go to our neighbor's houses and set their houses on fire? Wait, wait. We're like so evil, dude. And we're not being evil like we're supposed to be, be evil. That's the whole point of the evil sim. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> I'm hyped. Let's go. Let's go to this house because we've not been mean enough to them. Even though in that video I talked about last week or whatever... Um, I killed one of them, uh, so they're, like, buried in their yard now, but it was just for a video, so it's okay. Um, let's hang out over here. Let's just, can we knock on your door, even though you're standing right here? I'm gonna knock on your door, and thank you. That's so nice of you. Can we set your whole house on fire? Can we do it? Oh my goodness. Who is that? Where is he? He's dying. Don't die. Where is he? Oh my gosh, this is so cool looking. Yeah, so I, this is the person that I killed. His name is Daryl. I did not get to know him. I just, I, actually, he killed himself. I mean, I didn't kill him personally. He just used his magic too much. And he looked evil anyways. I mean, I guess Zara could have, could have, you know, been with him because he looked evil. But I don't know. Where, it says he's freezing to death. Where is he? I'm concerned. 
I don't know. I don't want my potential man to die, but I don't know where he's at. Uh, back, back to the mission. Uh, let's not talk to her. Not gonna chat with her. You're not gonna make friends with them. You're gonna burn their house down. So come over here, magic, inferniate, and then you're gonna run back over here. Wait, is she good though? She's not gonna die. No, she's pretty good. It's regular. She's not. She's not overcharged. We're good. We're good. All right. So you come over here, and we're gonna we're gonna set this house on fire, and we're just gonna set everything on fire. <laughs> I want to see what happens. I want to see. Move, move, move. Run, run, run. Set this one on fire too, and then go here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. She's gonna put it out. No, go set it on fire. Oh, she can't do it because there's. She can't set a fire because there's a fire. Hmm. <laughs> Can we use the bathroom really quick? Is that, no? <laughs> can't do that because there's a fire. Okay. Well, this didn't go as planned because now I can't do anything because there's a fire. Is it just going to put itself out or is Granny going to come in here to the rescue? Like, we're just going to... Oh, no. She discovered the fire. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to put it out? Like, I don't... Like, I don't get it. Are are we not? We're not doing anything. We're, <laughs> she's, oh no, my house is on fire! <laughs> oh my gosh, she's just clapping. She's like, yes, <laughs> fire! <laughs> she's laughing. She's so happy. She's like, yes, uh, my first evil thing. <laughs> it's harvest fest. We're supposed to be thankful, and we're setting our neighbor's house on fire. Can we bring him back from the dead? No, we can't do anything because their stupid house is on fire. Can you just burn the house and get over it? Be funny with Morgan. Morgan is dying. I do not know where Morgan is, but he is about to be deceased. And then I'm going to cry and have to bring him back to life because... Can we just leave? Can we leave the lot even if it's on fire? Because I don't want to put it out because I just want to burn my neighbor's house down. <laughs> but... I want to do stuff, you know? I don't want to just stand here. Let's fly here. Oh, so you can do that stuff. That's so cool. Bad reputation. I don't give a damn about my bad reputation. Oh, what happened? Why do we despise each other? Is it because I set your house on fire? Honestly, get over it. <laughs> wow. I Did I beat her butt? Oh, is this the girl we hurt? No. Did we fight her? I don't remember fighting her. Where are we? Heck no. Heck no, techno. We're all the way over here. I don't know what you're talking about. The girl that cried wolf. She's running. <laughs> you're not supposed to be scared. You're supposed to be happy. I'm maniacally laughing. Oh, she's... She walked over here where I told her to go. And she flew where? Where exactly? She flew back. I told her to fly over there. Is it just still? Cool. Can we not watch TV? We can't do anything. Can we just leave? No. <laughs> I just want to leave. I want to go home. I just, I want your house to burn down. And I want, this is, she actually has a bad reputation. Staying out of the spotlight. When did I turn that off? I don't remember turning that off. I was actually wondering about that in the last episode. If you can become like a famous witch. Because that would be really cool. Alright, let's... All we can do is interact with the... Oh wait, we can't. I was about to say all we can do is interact with these people. But we actually can't. Can we yell at her and say fire? Okay. We're just chilling out here. Like nobody's doing anything. If this was The Sims 3... It was The Sims 3, right? If this was any other Sims game, somebody would be here to put out the fire. We would have some good-looking firefighters in here. They'd be putting out this fire instantly, and they would be like, oh, saving your butts, but you guys are just idiots. What are you doing? You're just going to stand out here and freeze to death because you just don't know how to put out a fire? I'm annoyed. Can we go home, please? I'm going to get a mod that's going to be like... <laughs> To make you be able to do stuff whenever stuff is on fire because I'm I just don't Can we set stuff on fire now? No, we still can't. Okay, cool. Can we just reset her and then she'll be like no? Hmm. Well, I'm not going in there. I'm not risking my life So I guess I'm gonna fast forward this because I want to see what exactly happens and how far we can get with this But I don't want to make you guys sit here forever. So uh, I'll be right back
Okay, I'm bored. <laughs> so, hey. Oh, the guy that I killed. <laughs> He's standing out here watching his house burn down too. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Like, we could have been cool. Like, we could have been friends, you know? Look at this. He, I don't know. I think it's the hood. The, the hooded man. He made me, I don't know. He just made me feel like he was evil. I don't know. It was the hood. Um, can I just... No. Okay. I thought if I got rid of that... I'm sorry. I'm a cheater. I thought if, if I got rid of that, that maybe she'd be able to do something, but... I honestly don't know what to do now because I don't want to go in there. Magic. Chilio. <gasps> Wait a minute. What? You can do magic on the fire? Wait. If you catch on fire, I swear. I swear. Oh my gosh, it put it out. Magic. Chilio. Get- Oh my gosh, don't do that. Too close, too close. Wow. You magical queen. Saving the day. <laughs> After you caught- you, you caused the fire, but you like put it out too. So you're the hero. <laughs> what does this say? Near misery. Evil sims greatly enjoy reveling in the misery of others. <laughs> awesome. Mourn Daryl. Do not go mourn some random man you don't even know. They're like, thank you. Thank you so much. You saved our house. <laughs> Riparia. Heck no. I'm not using my magical powers for good. Are you crazy? I'm going to go home. <laughs> I was here all night waiting for that stupid fire to destroy everything and nobody even died. I'm disappointed. Did you just hear that? <laughs> you probably did not hear that. My cat just meowed so loud. Okay, so... Oh, he probably wants out of this room, actually. I feel kind of bad because he probably has to use the bathroom and there's not a litter box in here. I don't want to have to clean that magic. Inferniate, no! <laughs> You're crazy! Don't catch everything on fire, what the heck? Alright, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, harvest day was pretty bad. Um... I mean, although it wasn't, it was, like, pretty good, actually. We had a lot of fun. Uh, she, I'm gonna end this with doing some more with ta her talent points, because she has three, so we can get another thing. I don't understand why we can't, oh, oh, we have to get one of these to go up this way. Okay, I'm stupid, I'm sorry. Wait. Okay, so they're different kinds. I don't know what the difference is on this side, but, um, tame the untamable. Untamed spells and potions always succeed. When in a normal charge, mischief spells and potions always succeed. Um, maybe we should go down here so we can get some of these. Because I don't... Or maybe if we go this way. Will it go that way? I don't actually know. Let's get one of these. Discharge. Let's get that. That's pretty important, I feel like. What's this? Casting a spell now adds significantly less spellcaster charge. Hmm. Potion crafting. Let's do that because that takes forever. Chance on potion creation that all of the required agreements will not be used. That sounds good. All right. Even if those were really bad decisions, I don't know. They seemed pretty good to me, but I don't know. I make bad decisions. <laughs> so we just burned down our neighbor's house and then put it out and then just like got thanked for it. So, you know, <laughs> whatever. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did hit that thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.